Hey guys, and welcome back to the Hobby Dude 007 channel. Man, I am so behind. I've got uh, shop card shout outs, some uh, gifts I got in the mail that I want to share with you that are really cool. Uh, as you can see, I've got just a ton of new stuff I picked up between uh, Roanoke and Salisbury, which I never did a stash ad for Salisbury. So I want to catch you up on that real quick. And a few other little shout outs and things I want to share with you. So stick around. Okay, guys, first up, let's take a look at our shop cards. The first one up here, we've got Manny Scale Modeling Podcast and Video Podcasts. And this is a cool channel, guys. Need to go over and check it out. Um, love all the models on the... You know, I thought when I was doing my shop card about doing the same thing, putting multiple models on there. Uh, and I decided on one. But isn't that cool? you got such a variety there, but a great channel. Uh, go over and check him out. It's got a great Facebook group, too. And uh, you'll enjoy what's on the channel. So uh, head over there, and that's Manny Scale Modeling Podcast and Video Podcast. Great, great stuff. Pick this one up in Roanoke this past weekend. This is uh, Gary at Blue Ridge Models. Isn't that beautiful? Love a sunrise and a sunset gorgeous new channel as well and with these, both of these guys head over check out their content every one of us can learn from each other and that's what this hobby is all about too friendships and and sharing ideas and things like that so check out gary's channel here blue ridge models this is absolutely great great stuff and while i was in roanoke i also picked up this decal or sticker from Ace Model Decals. And if you're not familiar with Ace, go over to acemodeldecals.com and check them out. If you're a stock car, uh, modified, any of that stuff, uh, vintage, modern, all of it, go over and check Mark's channel out. Um, acemodeldecals.com. You'll really enjoy that. And I got this uh, letter in the mail from my buddy Jim Ashley. And I'm a member of the uh, Model Car Mafia on uh, Facebook. And uh, so I got sent a couple of decals. I think that one of those will look good on the back of the truck too, don't you? And I think I'll do one on the new cutting mat in the new shop or, well, either that or on the toolbox. But cool stuff. And if you're not familiar with this uh, Facebook page, head over and check it out, guys. Cool, cool stuff. Well, next... I have got to share it. I have been excited about this. The Southern Nationals coverage in uh, Model Cars Magazine this month. We've got Jay's awesome. I think that was the thumbnail on my coverage from Atlanta. And my good buddy Clay Kemp's sprint car there. Some great stuff. There's Gary Kolchak's. Oh, good stuff. Uh, but this is the big reason I wanted to share this with you. Check this out. A lot of you that have it probably have already seen this. But... This is uh, Junior Modeler, Ruthie Inman, <laughs> our good buddy Matt over at Model Car Videos. This is his daughter, uh, Ruthie, and check that out. Is that not a beautiful car? Uh, and she won the Junior category, and I think she even got the President's Award. In fact, I know she did uh, from the President of Acme, but is that not a beautiful build? Uh, Matt's going to have to watch out because she's coming on. Something else I want to share with you real quick is some show updates. Sorry about that. I'm beating the camera up. Some show updates, guys, before we get into the stash. Um, next in the southeast in our area coming up is the Fast Tracks Raceway and Hobby Contest. Uh, the spring show for 23. It's on April the 1st. No, that's not a joke. Not April Fool's. April the 1st, 2023, from 9 to 2. There's your address there. This is in Statesville, North Carolina. Um, my Last year was my first year at the Fast Track Show, and let me tell you, they did a great job. There were some great vendors there. Just It was a lot of fun. Um, food right there on site. Um, really, really a lot of fun. And that's April 1st. And then on May the 20th, is the SCMA, and this is uh, South Carolina Model Associations, I think this is their biggest show every year, held in Simpsonville, South Carolina, which is just south of Greenville. And this is always a great, great show. There's a lot of great themes there. Every year you've got the big drag classic, which is just drag cars. Um, the uh, Start Car Challenge, 
which is, of course, is just NASCAR. And they've got a, uh, this is, I think, the fifth annual box stock shootout. Everything that is box stock. And um, this is always just a fantastic show. And this uh, Civic Center is really big, and it's always full of vendors, and as well as the models. And as you can see, the categories here. And you may want to pause that. There's your box stock shootout info. Uh, your automotive classes. Your non-automotive classes. And again, you can go to their Facebook page and probably print this off, I think. Uh, then they've got the 62 and over category, which is just for modelers the age of 62 and over. Um, first, second, and third place classes in the Stock Car Challenge. And you see you've got Modern, Vintage, Weekend Warriors, um, 48 and older, and 49 to present. And then you've got the Big Drag Classic, which is the drag cars. You've got... Uh, Top 5 plus Top Eliminator, which is kind of the best of show for the drag cars. Um, and then there's your classes for that. But uh, this is always a really good show, too. And then next up, I think there's something in between these. I think there's one in Myrtle Beach. Uh, I think it's sometimes this month. Sometime this month. I've, I've had that in one of the other videos, but I don't have that brochure in hand right now. But the next really big one coming up that I always enjoy is the Carolina Custom Modelers Summer Classic. This is on August the 19th, 2023. And as last year, it's hosted uh, or sponsored by Wiss's Model Car Corner. So our buddy Wes will be in there. And uh, Kenny K-Dog Shores is um, kind of in charge of setting everything up there. This is held at the Village End Resort. And uh, it is really, really nice. They have special rates and all that kind of stuff if you want to go up early and stay the night. But this is uh, always a great, great show. And I'm going to jump on down the road a little bit to the... Um, Southern Nationals, the Acme Club puts on in Atlanta. These guys, again, um, this, this year is going to be very special because after uh, many, many years, they're in a new location. I keep wanting to say we because I've feel i been going down there so long, I feel like I'm part of it. But um, these guys put on a first-class show, one of the best shows in the country, the Southern Nationals. Um the Atlanta car modeling enthusiast Acme put this on and uh, this new location is bigger. And if you want to see the facility and get a little background on it, go over to Fred Henry's um, uh, Facebook or excuse me, YouTube channel, uh, West Georgia Rods and Customs and check it out. He did a tour with them uh, over the weekend and it is, I, I'm just tickled to death that he did that and I'm looking forward to uh, getting down there this year and this year there are three main themes uh, because we've got 70 years of the Corvette the 70th anniversary of Corvette this year um, NASCAR is one of the themes and 100 years of Le Mans so Le Mans whatever that was for you Matt uh, but uh, great great show always worth the trip uh so if you haven't made your plans to head to the southern nationals go ahead and make them now because this one's going to be really really special um and then this one's into next year so uh, y'all know the swap meet at salisbury we just covered well this is the brochure for next year it's be february the 17th go ahead and mark your calendar and yeah it's a year away but that's okay go ahead and mark your calendar february 17th 2024 um, let me tell you, this, this gym is just packed with uh, vendors, and this is always a really fun swap meet. There's no contest, just strictly a, a swap meet. But let me tell you, I, we ended up staying just about the whole day, uh, just scouting out the vendors. So that's it on those. And guys, let me get to the stash. Some cool stuff I want to share with you, so stick around a sec. Okay, guys, when we were in Salisbury, I needed a set of white walls. And, you know, there's a lot of those bins that you could just dig through. And there's several vendors that have just the the uh, tires that are separated, white walls, black walls, drag slicks, bumpers, tail lights, all that kind of stuff. So I picked me up a set of white walls, and these were in excellent, excellent shape. Also picked up from Bandit Resins, my buddy K-Dog, Kenny, uh, these 3D printed... Uh, tires and wheels of his 
and there's three different sizes in there. The rear are uh, really cool too, but check this out. These are multi-piece. Whoop, don't want to lose them there. Um, you got the tire. You got some great tread on those too. And then you've got the white wall, which is marked Firestone. Uh, so you can paint that white wall separate, drop it in, and check these out. Are those not absolutely... Well, let me get these out of the way. Beautiful. And they are in different widths. And then you've got the center cap that drops right in. Boom. Uh, he had a set painted up. I was actually picking on him. I was trying to get him to sell me the painted up set with the red and the chrome centers and then the white walls. Um, but I've got three different cars I'm thinking these would look so good on <laughs> and three different widths like I said uh, and these these things 3d printed and they're priced they're priced pretty good so Kenny did a pretty good job also picked up I have one of these somewhere but if you haven't seen this this is a model car garage piece uh, MCG 601 and it is for the 71 GTX photo etch set is that not just cool see if I can get that to reflect you got the word Plymouth 440, uh, the GTXs, and that grill work, man. Just really, really cool stuff. So I picked up um, one of those. And if you have not seen, if you're not familiar with Gopher, uh, Gopher Racing, go over and check out gopherracing.com. And I know Wes's model car corner carries this. I know my local... Uh, Hobby Shop carries these. I've never seen these in ours yet, but I'm going to tell them about these. But this is is uh, is seatbelt material. This one is the black, and there's two photo etch sets of the hardware for the uh, check. Uh, if I can get here, we go. Check that out. There's all your hardware. Great comprehensive set of instructions on how to loop them. Well, if it'll focus, let me get back here a little bit. Great, great harnesses here. Now, this is the, the uh, black. There's a set of the blue and a set of the red. I got two sets of the blue. Um, but really, really nice racing harnesses. And these are going to look great in the modified. They're going to look great in your stock car, or uh, if you have a rally car, whatever it is, if you're looking for a five-point racing harness, there you go. Check that out. Even has the decals for uh, the different manufacturers. Simpson there, yeah. So some really, really cool stuff. Another thing, uh, I showed you the decal, or the sticker from uh, Ace Decals while I was in Roanoke, picked up from Ace, this beauty which is David Pearson's number, uh, well, Ray Nichols race car. And you see there you had the uh, 1971 STP Pontiac GTO. And then the CV Products, the purple and white version. And let me tell you, these are, these are power slide. And so they are a, a really high quality, but really great decals. Uh, another set I picked up were these, and if you know the Wood Brothers, going back from 68 to 70, these, I got to take these out, these are beautiful. I just sent a set of these to uh, to someone, I'm going to leave it a surprise, uh, I'll let him mention it when he gets them. But you've got every decal... And you see the uh, the gold foil for the 41s and 21s. And this sheet covers uh, all the drivers, Sweet Savage, Donnie Allison, Cale Yarborough, Dan Gurney, A.J. Foyt, and Fred Lorenzen. So all of that stuff. And look at the registry, the bright orange. I don't know if you can see that. But even the gold foil in the uh, Moog. All of this this stuff is just so well printed. And these again are power slide. Awesome, awesome stuff. 
and again those gold foil numbers awesome awesome stuff okay and something else i picked up was a set of decals for a car i remember i think it was an mpc kit when i was growing up that actually came with a red uh, they weren't the fluorescent but they were the red um 55's Pepsi car that Tiny One drove. And I think it was a 70 Camaro. But these fluorescent on a, uh, a light blue car with a Pepsi. Um, wow, good stuff. And actually, these, these silver foil numbers uh, for the 60, I think it's 68 or 69 Camaro. That was a beautiful car as well, but uh, seeing those again, it just brought back those memories. And you, you get me around these these guys, Mark's books, and I was there going through them, and I start seeing stuff that bring back memories, and I'm like, oh man. And uh, so pick those up, and I picked up a couple of sets of the Butch Lindley decals. Um, of course, y'all know. If you remember my background um, and my first NASCAR license, those first few years that I tinkered in it, um, this was my man. This is this was just a, an awesome, awesome guy, Butch. And um, uh, I had to have a couple sets of these, so I scooped them up too. Um, and and hopefully down the road you'll be seeing something on those as well. Okay, uh, as far as I know, I think that's all the little stuff let me let me share with you a couple of kits i picked up hold on when we got to salisbury as you recall my buddy robbie meadows had those uh 10 signs and the big banners that had the five uh, uh model manufacturers on them well robbie had pulled a couple of things and brought them up there for me and this was a little bit of a surprise that he had uh and at first i looked at it and it said uh, 64 olds cut i said what when did I? He said, no, 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 open it at first. And if you remember in my uh, Holy Grail videos, those one of those kits that I wanted to be able to do a car of, one of the real cars that I owned, if you remember my 72 Torino, well, check that out. A 72 Torino. <laughs> um, same wheels, the whole shebang. Uh, so we'll be doing a build on this down the road too, but but uh wow uh man the memories i have of this car um really really cool and robbie thank you thank you thank you again uh i owe you big time and, and i'll be paying that back to soon but uh, that was just a awesome and next up was the other things that he brought me were uh first of all was a Motorcraft T-Bird. I wanted one in white, and lo and behold, he had one. And uh, so I picked this up from him. And I was thinking for that Maurice Petty number one. Uh, oh, there's some tape in there. That number one, uh, Petty Enterprises T-Bird. I thought I could use that as the base to get that started. Very, very cool. Always love these old T-Birds, the, the big bubbly looking thing. Uh, and to have it in white, cool. And the other thing was another Pontiac Grand Prix for my uh, one of my either Peak or Ames cars. So I'm, I'm set on those now. Got plenty of these. And, of course, these are in, I'm pretty sure the, this one is in white, too. Yeah, it's in white as well. Um, and that's the way I like to, I like to paint everything. But... Uh, and every uh oh, I didn't see that. Oh, where one of the tires has been. Ah, uh, I may have to do a tutorial. You know how I t those tires will sit on this and really mess them up. I don't know how deep that one is. That one feels pretty deep, but I may be able to go through the sanding grids and get that out. We may do a tutorial on, on cleaning up some clear parts and see if we can uh, can get that done. Um, usually, I don't know where the tires are. Yeah, they're down there. And, yeah, you can see where that was probably the one that was 
on it. But uh, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. And if we don't, I probably got a spare one somewhere around, so I'm not worried about that. Uh, also, while we were there, I picked up an extra modified, and I've got something unique in mind for one of these. We've all seen these, all right, or already. So um, great stuff. And as you recall, Wes also has the uh, the Nerf bars and. Uh, extra set of tires it's got all kinds of great stuff the wheels and chrome the hop-up pack so uh, got one of those and this was uh, another thing I picked up over the weekend and that is if you remember I'm gonna back this off a little bit the galaxy limited trailers and if you recall the side door opens the uh, let's see if we've got it here the side door opens Trying to see if there was a picture of the other side. On the other side, there's a little bay for uh, on one of them. Uh, I don't see it on here, but for a uh, like compressor, and you got two variations for the rear. Um, I think I'll be doing this where the the it just drops down, or you can swing them back open. This thing is awesome. If you've never seen one of these, if you can, you can still find them uh, in at, at swap meets and places like that. And there was there were limited to five thousand each, and there were like four different ones. You had the 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 regular, and then the one that hooked up like to a fifth wheel. And I think there was four total. And this is the uh, twenty-one foot, and I think this was the smallest out of all of them they made. But you can display it with the top off, the door open. I, it just really, really an awesome kit. Look at that. Tread plate, well, tread plate floor in there. Just really awesome stuff. Okay, well, that's the stash end of it, guys, at the moment. Now, let me reset the camera, and I want to share with you two other things. One of them I'm going to open on camera, so stick around. Also in Salisbury this year, my dear friend, Tony Roberts, who, as you may remember, created this for me. i got to hang that back up. Uh, before I got out of there, he said, hey, stick around a minute. I got something I want to give you. And um, so he came back in the building and he gave me a six pack of not just Pepsis, but autographed from the 1992 fan appreciation tour season of long neck Pepsis. Uh, and again, autographed by Richard. And the unique thing with these are they are all different. Each bottle has something different on them. Uh, this one, for example, most popular driver, uh, named nine times by NASCAR fans. Um, each one has something unique, and, and he even had these wrapped up so that they didn't get scratched or scarred. Well, you know how these bottles will do. Most wins in a single season, 1967. Um, just some, uh, uh-oh, looks like a camera's about to die. Um, I don't know if you got to see that with the camera doing its thing. But each one has something different on them, and uh, th this just means so much. I'm, I'm going to have these in a prominent place. And uh, Tony, love you, buddy. Thank you so much. I appreciate you more than you know. Is that not just cool, guys? And I told Amanda to get me a... Uh, glass of ice when we got home from the thing she said yeah like you're gonna pop one of those so <laughs> anyway and next up i know what this is but i'm not i'm not gonna uh we're gonna share it together and this is from my buddy john um robinette or robinetti excuse me uh let's see if i can get this thing there we go Well, as you can see, this is a big flat envelope here. So let's uh, see what we got here. Well, there's an envelope in the envelope. Let's see what this is first. Man, it's awkward to pull around there. We have a letter, which I will read privately. Uh, and... 
This looks like. Oh, old school around 1975 to 78. Oh, some of these I recognize. Oh, this is so cool. John Robinette, automotive artist. Uh, graphic designer, illustrator, and photographer. Awesome. Thank you so much, John. Oh, check this out. These are old school. There's uh, one, two, three, four, four or five of the original. Yeah, they're sticking together a little bit, but that's the old school stuff. The Racer's Edge STP. Oh, these are great. Thank you, John. And then the uh, Indy, the Racer's Edge STPs. Oh, and check these out. Now, these I do remember. I've, I think I still have one of these. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Cool. Oh, man, these are awesome. Something else for the toolbox. And the new big <laughs> cutting mat. Oh, John, thank you so much. Appreciate these big time. And I hope I didn't butcher that last name there. And let's get to that big envelope now. I am really excited about it. When he told me what he had... And uh, they wanted to share. Oh, I'll leave that out so I can read through that in a minute. Um, I was really jazzed about this. Um, oh, let's see if I can get it out without hurting anything. Definitely don't want to hurt this. I think the tape's got it stuck on the bottom there. There we go. Yeah, the tape had it stuck there. Oh, wow. This is... a Cheerios flat that is autographed by Richard, Kyle, John Andretti, and get this, guys, Adam Petty. Uh, when they were visiting the uh, facility, as I, if I remember, and John called me out on it if I got it wrong, but if it's they were visiting the facility when they got their contract, and I think it was the year 2000, um, they autographed this box then, and that's, uh, or well, along with several others, I'm sure, but they, um, I think it was his daughter that worked for, worked for them then, and uh, so they got it autographed. Richard, Kyle, Adam, and John Andretti. Is that not just awesome? I am going to get a frame for this, too. That is just... Man, John, thank you so much. This means bunches, big time. Well, guys, I wanted to share it with you, too. And uh, thank you so much for tagging along through all of this. But I think I'm caught up on my stash ads and shop cards right now. Um, and I'm pretty sure I've got some more coming too, but, um, thank you so much again for tagging along. Thanks for the subscriptions and all of your support guys. It means more to us than, you know, um, I'm enjoying sharing. I'm just having a lot of fun with this channel. Uh, I was so intimidated in the beginning and it's just turned out to be, uh, um, uh, a relaxing therapy in many ways for me. Well, guys. Thanks so much again. Appreciate you more than you know. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. God bless. And uh, later.